Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Denise and if you're new here, welcome. If returning, welcome back. And so I uh, just gave myself a little uh, hair trim and um, I am going to try a new uh, foundation to me. So I have generally been really happy with L'Oreal True Match both in the um, regular, and I wear N3 in that, uh, regular formula and the SPF. And this is a bit, a bit of a lighter formula. And if you ask me, it's actually a little bit lighter than this because of the titanium in there. Um, and so, uh, new it's uh it's been a long while since i have deviated from those uh two foundations i had tried this one uh it's covergirl ageless but i like i liked it but uh, because it had the um it's got the oil of olay in there i liked it however uh it made i have textured skin and it made it look worse really so what i am doing is i'm going to try out this new e.l.f. for me. It is Flawless Satin Foundation. This one is 210 Bisque with a wet beauty blender and the other side with a brush. Okay, so let's see. So let's give it a go. So first though, I'm going to use, and I've only used this Poreless Primer by e.l.f. Um, Putty. Uh, I've only used this once as well. And because I have some, I tried their other e.l.f. in the in the bottle and I didn't like it. This seems to be a little different. It doesn't, it seems more sticky because that's the problem. That's the issue I had before was uh, it made my makeup slide right off it. So let's try this. So this side will be the side with the uh, Wet Beauty Blender. Great color match. Huh. Feels quite dewy. So I can see that this side is going to be more red, so I'm just going to. Of course, this side is more sheer, um, but I think it applied equally well. I'm gonna go ahead and give a little more coverage on this side. like the feel of that. That's very nice. Feels very satiny, very nice. Mm. Okay, so we are we tried that out. I'm going to go ahead and speed through the rest of the video.
Okay, and so that is just the littlest bit of um, makeup to make me look just a little less tired, uh, a little more put together. I am, I, I'm, I think I like the feeling. It took a little while for it to dry down, uh, but, and I'm trying on new to me uh, foundation. It's the e.l.f. Uh, this is Flawless Sat flawless satin foundation and I haven't used it before so um, we'll see how it wears this is the pretty much the bare necessities for me as far as um, makeup and so it is the most minimal that I that I'll do for it's one of the most minimal sometimes I'll go out completely barefaced of course um, but this is one of my more minimal looks. It was it's called Panorama, and it's L'Oreal, and it's I got the waterproof, um, voluminous. It's pretty packaging, but uh, I always like to get waterproof because my eyelashes are pretty straight, pretty straight, and uh, so I need all the lift I can get, and regular type of. Um, mascara without the waterproofing doesn't have as much um it doesn't have as many fibers in it so it doesn't look as good as long as lush uh as um as the kind with the waterproofing okay here we go well that's nice What? I'm impressed. Wow. They're not kidding. That's awesome. All right. Ooh. I bet you that uh, hack that I like to do would look great on, on these. I bet you would work perfectly. I like a little more pizzazz, I guess, to, to my look. So I am going to do my eyelash hack really quick. And um, it's not my eyelash hack. It's an eyelash hack. I found out about this hack probably the beginning of summer, maybe, maybe earlier than that. And all it is is trans wait till your eyelashes dry, translucent powder uh, after your first coat, translucent powder on a brush on your curling device, curl your dry eyelashes. is almost too spidery but I'll I'll be okay with it just because um to end up losing this and All right, well, did my hair, I, all I did was uh, straighten it with a straightener and I had just given it a trim. Um, I could have gone even, even shorter. Um, and, uh, but at this age, I, I, It could have gone shorter. Uh, I'm just gonna live with this for a minute and see what I think. And um, yeah, really, so today, really, I was just coming on to uh, tell you about a few little tips I had on hair and uh, try out the new e.l.f., uh, new to me, e.l.f., this is their uh, Flawless um, Satin Foundation. And I have to say, it took a second to dry down. But, and it says it's medium coverage. Um, it applied well with the sponge and the brush. I think um, next time I'll try it with a dry sponge. I tried it with a wet sponge today and um, it, it, it had enough coverage. Um, 
for sure. Uh, and so uh, I'm super excited to see how that wears through the and day. And the other thing that I'm, I'm really kind of digging is um, I think I might have found a, uh, a I, that I think I might have found a mascara that I can, I think I might have found a mascara that I might like, and this is the Lancome Panorama. It is a waterproof. This, um, It's waterproof and I don't know, I think it's uh, I think it's got a really great look. This is two coats uh, and this is with my little eyelash hack that I do with the powder. But uh, when I first put it on, I could automatically see that um, this was a winner. All right guys, so um, yeah, I think this, um, this e.l.f. is gonna work well with my skin and um, I used this uh, putty for uh, minimizer primer and um, I think this will work better than their the one that I used to have in the tube of theirs uh, elf for minimizer that I think it had I don't know if it had silicone in it but it made all my makeup slip off and it just didn't work out right for me but this one doesn't have that same feel and let me take a look really quick see and that is the minimalist over 60 look for today and i hope you enjoyed it we'll see you here next time bye